Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being a programmer and why there are so many vacant positions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it, it seems like everybody is becoming a programmer these days. Why is, but why are there so many open positions? And the short answer is because the deficit is that high. That is how high it is. And I would like to add one more. Because the, the amount of people who actually become developers and the amount of people who are trying to become developers is disproportionate. Let me explain. So let's get the obvious one out of the way first. There are a lot of people who are looking for programmers today. A lot, a lot. To the point where I am not even kidding when I say that I have almost daily requests or, or promotions or different ads or recruiters or some form of person trying to contact me for a job somewhere. I don't even, you don't even have to ask for it. They, they're, so you, they don't care if you're looking for a job or not. They will just try to find somebody who will respond to the endless lists of mails and spam and stuff. Like, I used to get spam about Viagra and today I'm getting spam about jobs. That's how it, how it looks. Anywho, enough about, my, uh, about me, but that is the situation pretty much. Like the deficit is so massive that this is why everybody, even if you feel like everybody's trying to become a developer, there, there's so many opportunities at this point that it's ludicrous. But I also want to mention something and that is that there is a, uh, there is a phenomenon I would say that I would like to blame mostly the internet for. Actually, I, I, I'm just, I, I, this is how I feel about it. I, I'm blaming the internet and I'm blaming YouTube. Well, not YouTube specifically, but I'm blaming, let's just call it the internet, for a phenomenon that I've seen happen. And this is why I actually do the things that I do on this little channel of mine, where there seems to be this belief that there is easy money or there's an easy career path for people by becoming programmers. And that hype has gotten to the point where it's almost equivalent, not as equivalent, but it's almost equivalent to the fitness industry, where they are telling you literally that if you just use their specific magical method, you will have a six pack in one month, six months, something like that. And for anybody who is a fitness expert and has even the slightest sliver of a conscience, well, they will know that that is only true if you have the right attitude, the right genetics, the right food, uh, the, like the right diet and the right training regimen. These are a lot of ifs that needs to take place in order for you to guarantee that you're going to see those sorts of results. And that is the reason why there are some people who go to the Olympics, even though they are training, there are people who are trained tons and tons, like they, uh, probably as much, they're never gonna get there because there are so many factors that play in, right? The same thing goes for software engineering. There are people here today on the internet who are telling everybody that, oh yeah, they're, you know, everybody knows that there's tons of money to be made in IT and yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and tell everybody that it's very easy to become a programmer as well. That's the thing that you are mistaken about because it's not easy to become a programmer. It's fucking hard. It's fucking hard. Most people who go and take boot camps and sell are self-taught, etc., etc., they have to work a lot harder than any of the promises these people have been given at, at when they first decided to buy into that boot camp or buy that course or listen to that YouTuber or something like that. Usually, the, like the promises are disproportionate to the work that you actually have to invest. And that's why I'm here trying to tell you that the 
work effort to be actually become a professional developer so that you are among those people who are actually in demand is a lot higher than what you might suspect because the promises are very glorified where some people seem to believe that if you just learn the bare bone minimum about React, Angular, or Vue or something like that, you're gonna earn a six-figure six income and everybody's just going to want you every single day. Actually, what's interesting to me is that today in these corona times, people are now freaking out about losing their jobs, even as developers, and the market might, we don't know, but if the market takes a downturn and the golden age ends for a little while and we have a recession or something like that, who do you think if you start fight, if you know the availability of all these open positions starts sh sh plummeting, who do you think is going to get the jobs? The three month boot, boot camp coders or the people who have a real solid understanding of software engineering? That's exactly what I want you to understand about this. There is an enormous demand for good developers, not for anybody who took like a small little, a little course and knows some basic hello world stuff. That's not what people are looking for. These are the people who are wasting so, like, honestly, I made a video of a really old one about this a while, a long while back, where I stated that the problem, like, because there was another question regarding why are there so ludicrous um, interview requirements on everybody who wants to become a programmer? Why are companies asking for half day coding sessions and week long code review, uh, code challenges and things like that? And I go, it's very simple because you have so many people who think that by learning Hello World, they are now ready to become a professional software developer and they are also applying to the jobs. And the companies have to deal with hundreds of applicants who are not even remotely qualified to work in that company. So what do they do? Well, they need to raise the standards so that only the people who are really good even try to apply. And that's why the requirements on job, job skills are so ludicrous. In many cases, you can see an application description or a job description that it's like, it's almost impossible to reach that. It, it, it just lists out a ludicrous amount of stuff. It's insane that you would have to know all of this stuff, but it doesn't mean that you have to know it. It's just to scare off all the, re, the, the the coders who are not measuring up. That's basically what it's there to do. So what I want you to take away from this is pretty much that there is an enormous amount of people trying to become developers and there are even still more open job positions. The reason why that ratio is the way it is is because the demand is sky high, but that's not the whole truth. The other part of that truth is that people are looking for good developers professional grade software developers. They're not looking for someone who took a little hobby course or paid for one Udacity course or Udemy course, know some basics. That's not what they're looking for. But these are the people you're most likely talking to. These are the people who are not working as industry professionals. Industry professionals are like human gold. The amount of people who are trying to learn how to code is even higher. The problem is they are not at the level they need to be in order to actually become true professionals. And that's where the mismatch exists. So that's why you have more people trying to become developers than you have people who actually are developers. Have a great day.